in some of the newer versions of Mobi Rise. And what it allows you to do is to import or export an entire project. So it basically tapes the website that you're working on, it zips it up into one package, and then you can uh, export that project and take it with you, or uh, possibly use someone else's project and import it into your own website or into your own MobiRise software so that you can then begin to work on it. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this. I've set up a project here. This is called the MobiRise Import Export Test. And I've actually exported a project. So you can see here that the project has a project name. Uh, there's a screenshot. It takes a screenshot of what the project is going to look like uh, so that you know which one it is. And then there are some assets inside. So there are images. These are the images that come with MobiRise. I haven't done anything to add images, but if you had added your, added your own images, then those would be in here as well. Um, and so this all gets packaged together, and this is when you export a website, this is all of the things that it's going to export. So you're going to need all three of these things in order to import it back into the software. So I have conveniently put them inside of um, of this folder called MobiRise Import Test. I encourage you to do that. That would allow you also to zip the folder, <coughs> email it to yourself or to someone else. You can see the file sizes are extremely small. So it <coughs> should not be a difficult uh, process to to be able to send those things. And as long as your images are not too big, you should be able to email it back and forth. And if not, we'll go over some other export options or publish options later. So this is not publishing your website. This is actually the project that you're working on inside of the software, not what will be displayed on the web. So that's an important distinction between exporting and importing the project, as opposed to when you go to the publish, then you're actually publishing the web pages. So this is a little bit different. You're only working inside of the MobiRise software. <clears throat> so let's go over here. And you can see this is our main administrative panel and options. Uh, we have pages. These are the pages in the website that you're currently working on. And then you have whole sites. Now these are all of the sites that you've created with different websites. Uh, and each of these is a project. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine projects that I could be working on. And each of these can be exported to the desktop or to some other drive. Uh, so what we're going to do is instead of creating a new website, <clears throat> we're going to import uh, a MobiRise website. You can say it, it says open MobiRise website, project.mobirise, not listed here. So you're opening a project that's not listed here because normally you would just be able to click on one and it would open your new project. So you can see here, this project opens up and then I can begin, you know, making changes <clears throat> to the project itself. So what we want to do is we want to take a project that is outside of the MobiRise software and we want to import it so that it becomes one of these projects that we can just click on and work on. So we click on import MobiRise website and because I just did this one, it's going to recognize it. It's going to go right to it. Uh, but normally you might have to go find whatever uh, folder that you were, were using, click on that. And then you want to click on project. Clicking on assets doesn't do anything for you. These are things that are kind of tag alongs and the project is going to pull these assets into the project. So the only thing you need to be concerned about importing is the project. So you click on that. Give it a minute, and then now our test import project, which is what I had named this website, is loaded into MobiRise. So I've gone through and just put some different blocks of text together, uh, element blocks. And then this would be a full website. If you had different pages, it would also import all of those pages so that when you went to pages, it would have all those pages listed here. You could still create new pages. You could clone pages. You can rename or change the meta. Uh, tags and descriptions of the page and it's fully functioning inside of the MobiRise software. Again, this is only a project. This has not been published as a web page. 
it's only the project inside of the software. So if you're working on a project in the software on one place, you can export the project, you can move that project to a different computer and theoretically pull that into uh, the other computer so that because this is software that's localized, it's not on the web, it's not online, so it's not in the cloud where you can just access it through an account. It's actually downloaded to a computer for you to work on a specific computer. You'll have to export that and then import it into another um, installation of MobiRise on a different computer. So that's a little bit of the technical part, but it's just something uh, to remember when you're dealing with the project files as opposed to when we talk later in a later video about the published files. So when you publish it, that means you're actually pushing HTML web pages out. This is just the MobiRise project. Um, if you have ever worked inside of some of the Microsoft Office uh, types of products or other software products, you know that they have their own extensions. It's kind of like that, <clears throat> uh, where they're not always readable uh, until you publish them or put them out there in a readable format. So that's what we're doing here. So that is importing. Let's go ahead and do an export of the same site. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to sites and we're going to click on our project. So this is the import part. It's not here, but we have imported it and now it's one of our clickable projects. What you do is go to here. It says rename favicon and export. So it gives you a little idea of what's behind this button. You could also delete it. You could remove this site and then you would have to import it again if you wanted. So you would click on this blue button. You can change the name of the product or the project. Well, let's change it to test export project. You can choose the site location right now. I have it in this import export test. So it'll bring up your explorer and it'll take you right into that folder. Let's create a new, a new folder for export. And I do this just to keep all the files because there's not only one project file, there's actually multiple project files with the assets and the screenshot. Uh, I'll choose to keep them inside of a folder just to keep them separated in my own head. So I'll select this folder. <clears throat> you can see that it was successfully exported. You click OK. There were some other uh, options in here that you could choose too, and these are just general site settings. So this part here is mostly what we were concerned about, the exporting. Uh, you could also change the theme if you bought one of the other themes for MobiRise, or you could change um, your own uh, favicon. That's the part in the web browser that's at the very top. It's like a little small image. <clears throat> and then you can post your Google Analytics uh, code here, which if you don't have Google Analytics, please look into that. It's a way to see who's coming to your website and what they're doing, and it really helps you to refine what you're doing and how you're doing it online. So we click OK, <clears throat> and now if we go out to our folder, you can see I created a new export folder, and then now we have our project right here. So that if I wanted to go back into MobiRise, and just to bring it full circle, let's delete this site. And we'll come in and we'll import. And we are in the export folder. That was where I exported it. And again, all you have to do is click on project and it should import and pull in all of those assets plus the code for your project. So you can see that it has pulled our project in again. So that is importing and exporting a project. A project. Uh, I've heard people say that they've had issues doing this across uh, different computers, so you'll just have to try it on your own. But it should work, theoretically, across computers. So if you have a, a MobiRise and you're working on it, uh, let's say at work, but you wanted to take it home and work on a laptop at home, you should be able to export it, put it onto a flash drive, or even put it um, to the cloud, <clears throat> and then download that onto your own computer and your own installation at home. So that is importing and exporting. It's under sites 
and it's here importing and exporting is in this part here so that is uh, one of the key things that Moby Rides has added recently and it allows more portability with your website um, we will cover in future uh, future videos about how to publish and the different publishing options so make sure that you watch that as well and uh, thanks for watching